All right, Patrick, thanks. Well, the Rock and Roll Marathon, as we've been talking about, is only a few weeks away now. And probably by now you're wondering about maybe picking up some new gear, maybe some new clothes, new running shoes to get you in top form for the race this year. And joining us with some tips on what we can do to make sure we're decked out appropriately is Patricia Steele from Brooks Sports. Thanks for joining us. Hi. All right, so first off, let's talk a little bit about if you're not planning to run. What can you do to participate in the Rock and Roll Half Marathon um, this year? Well, there's a couple of things. If you're not running, uh, we are always looking for volunteers. You can, um, you know, sign up and help out with water stops mm -hmm. and help out with cheering. They actually, for the Rock and Roll Marathons, they have groups of cheerleaders. Okay. And um, also, just even going out on the course is always a lot of fun. And uh, everyone, uh, ex everyone gets excited about yeah. seeing someone on the course. All right, now we know that the race is taking place in the morning, but it is summer and it's going to be mm -hmm. hot. People are going to be sweating. So yeah. what should they look for in appropriate clothing for the race? Well, Let's see some of our models I actually here. Brought, I brought a few models. Yeah. Um, I'll just say, basically, you really want to make sure you're wearing something very light, very breathable, and some moisture wicking. Mm -hmm. um, we brought a few pieces. The piece that Chris is wearing is um, a rev top, and this top actually has UPF 40 oh, in it. Oh, really? So this okay. is good for sun protection. Yeah. And especially when you're running and the sun's going to beat down on you, that it's it's really nice to have a little extra protection. And his shorts, um, you want to make sure there's a couple styles of shorts you can get. The shorts are very breathable material, mm -hmm. but you have ones that have the mesh uh, boy shorts underneath and ones with the mesh briefs. Okay. So he has the boy short ones, and then Mike are the models wearing the briefs. Gotcha. And then we're going to look at April. Is she's wearing? Um, a, sometimes in the you never know if it's going to rain or you know what the real temperature is going to be. So she has a really light jacket. It's called LSD Light, and it actually it's nice and breathable. It's mm. actually some ventilation in the back as well. You want to look for ventilation in yes. any type of jacket you're wearing. Okay. Um, and there's also the water resistance um, is important as well. But hers, if you want to take off the jacket. Um, it folds into a pouch oh, if you great. don't need it. So you start the day, maybe it's a little chilly in the yes, morning, yep. and it starts to rain. It actually folds into a pouch through this pocket right here. Okay, so great. Just I always wondered like about that. I know sometimes people yeah. will, like literally ditch their sweatshirt oh, like, yeah. on the side of the route. So that goes in so easy. Yes. Look at that. Wow. And uh, if you do have something that you do throw away, mm -hmm. they donate everything to Goodwill or to yeah. charity. So okay. you don't have to worry about that. And then for her top, Again, like I said, the moisture wicking is very important. Mm. So this is an equilibrium short sleeve top, and you see the mesh paneling on the side yep. makes it very breathable. And the reason you want to wear something moisture wicking is because if you wear cotton, it absorbs all that moisture, and then you're just going to feel wet, yes. and you're going to feel heavy. Gross. So something like this it stays dry, and it feels nice and light. All right, what about some of the other things that they brought here on the table? I see an assortment of running sneakers here. So we brought a couple of types of sneakers. Mm -hmm. We brought shoes that are neutral shoes and shoes that are stability shoes. Okay. So um, if you need a little support in your running, and it's, I always recommend going to a running store and having someone fit you. Yes. But you would see something like this. This is a, we call it medial posting or stability piece in the shoe. Okay. So that's what you would look for. And these are our two. This is a trance and the adrenaline. Those are good. This is highly cushioned. And then mm -hmm. the neutral shoes, people that are um, don't over pronate would wear something like this. Okay. And then the other outfit I brought, I just want to show, it's a little score. I this love one that. Has the little shorts in it too. Yeah. We have a gripper right here so that they don't uh, end up riding up. That's then, always a problem when you're always. running. It yeah. is, yeah. And then the back, you have a pocket and a zip pocket. And that's uh -huh. important. Pockets are really big when you come to running long distance because mm -hmm. you need to carry ID. Yep. You need, sometimes you need goo or um, some type of replenishment. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice to have more pockets, the better, I say. All right. Well, you brought in a lot of great ideas, and we want to let everybody know. Yep. Thank you for sharing them with us. If people want to know more about how to find the right shoes, the right clothes for the race, or to even sign up for the Rock and Roll Half Marathon, head to foxprovidence.com.